Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, snapshot testing using Jess. Um, this is for React, so this would be like, I use, this, I use this for when I'm building a React application on the front end. I use snapshot testing um, often with React. The purpose of using React is to use components. And if you're using a component in, in multiple places, it's really good to get um, add snapshot testing. Now, what I mean by that is it's actually, it will rent, you can set up tests to run um, that will render a component. And you can set it up so it re you, know, you pass in different props and things like that. But the idea being, you set up the test to um, render the component, and if some some uh, if you're um, changing your code and some changes that component, and that test breaks, you'll be aware that like it won't work for the other instance of where you use that component. I know that's kind of a ramble. I'm just going to show you, uh, jump in and show you how to do it. So right now I have this link open. If you look at my screen, it's the Facebook uh, Jest homepage. And it's a good place to get started. Uh, you'll need the air. We'll be using Airbnb an Enzyme. Uh, this is the example uh, Jest. And the last is the get started, uh, getting started for Jest. And snapshot testing is in there, and that's all in the description below. So I'm gonna be using my Mern boilerplate code for this demo. Uh, so what am I? I'm gonna suggest uh, a going to my profile and give me a follow if you're interested in following what I'm doing. Or, and then just forking it or uh, downloading it. I recommend forking it, it's the better thing to do, but since I actually own it, I don't want to accidentally override anything. So I'm gonna do, uh, drag this onto my desktop. And it's not gonna show up, okay, it is there. And I'm just gonna do, uh, open up a terminal window and do a CD to my desktop and then CD and do Mern boilerplate, and I think there's a master one, there's, there's two there actually on my desktop. And I'm just gonna clear that, so zoom in here. So you can easily see what I'm doing. Um, so what you wanna do is do an npm install. Uh, a lot of these are just gonna be a dev, because we don't, you only need to do the testing in the dev environment. So save-dev. Um, so npm install just dash dash save dash dev. I have my notes just over here. That's I'm not doing this all from memory. And so I'm just, I, I actually include this documentation in the in the uh, description as well. And this is the Airbnb enzyme docs installation docs. And so there's two options you have here. You have to install with a React 15, uh, 16 or 15. I'm doing React 15. You'll know that because in your package JSON you'll have uh, if you open up an Atom window or some other text editor to open up your project. So I'm just gonna go open. Uh, sorry, desktop. Open up your project. And if you go to your package.json, the Mern boilerplate sits on React 15, as you can see here. So that's what we'll need. Uh, you'll need Enzyme too. Switch back over, do npm dash install enzyme dash dash save dash dev. That will install. Then you'll need, uh, scroll down to working with React 15, you'll need uh, React test render. That's actually in the snapshot testing. If you look, they use it. Uh, that's only for React 15. So you'll need that. And then you need a couple things from Babel as well. Um, Babel install dash dash save dev. So npm install Babel dash jest and then save it to dev dependencies. So let's just take a look at our what we have here. Okay, we're missing one. We need the Babel uh, for npm install um, preset Airbnb dash save dev. Okay. 
Okay, and then uh, the last one you want is I'm, I just hit up there, and you want to change this to be the environment one. And so I'm just looking through my notes. That's it. Oh, that's all the dependencies we need. So technically, you, you can uh, run a test, uh, but the first step you have to do is let me just show you an example test. Okay, let me show you an example test. So I'm just gonna uh, navigate away from my um, my uh, actual terminal window. I'm gonna open my client here. I'm gonna put the, the, the test right next to the pages. Um, so I'm actually looking for, I need something to be in a component. So header here is a component. It has no kind of logic in it, so it's a perfect test. So I'm gonna add a, create a header test. So commonly this is the syntax I follow. It's header.test.js. And what I'll do here is I'll just import React because I'm going to be referencing React. And then I have to import. And there's two types of um, renders. There's a shallow render and a deep render. So the shallow render will just render the top level component. And the deep render will uh, render all the nested components within that component as well. Show shallow and then and that's coming from the enzyme uh, package and you want to import the component and you want to describe so that when the test runs you know what you're talking about so it's the header and this is why we did the Babel preset and you want to run test and let's say rendering the simple component I'll tell you right now this will fail this test um, because there is a setup one more setup step and so what we have to do is run um, create the component with the shallow render function right so our header has no pr no props but if it did we could pass them in here and you, the idea would be like if you had a function you would pass in this which is just a null function so it look like that's a prop it looked like that or you just pass in hard values if you know it's expecting like a number or something like that. Uh, and if you don't know, take a look at the prop types inside the component. And so we were going to do an expect, and we're going to say to match snapshot. And so the idea here is if there is no snapshot, um, it, it will create a new snapshot. And if it does exist, it will compare it against the previous uh, snapshot. If it doesn't match, it will tell you that it doesn't match. It's your responsibility to a verify the original snapshot. So, you know, there's no if it's broken from the get go, there's, it's going to be comparing against something broken. And then it's your responsibility is if you ever update the snapshot, also check that it's now the proper updated one. So with that just do an npm. Sorry, actually, there's no npm we could do uh, because we don't we haven't actually set up our our package JSON. So go over to package JSON and just do uh, under scripts you want to do npm. That's right, you want I'm just going to call it test, and you want, just want to run the command jest, which is uh, the way you run uh, command uh, jest from the command line. So if I do npm run test, it, it finds our, our one test in there. Hold on. And we, so we knew this was going to fail, right? Uh, supposed to add this too. Sorry, I missed a step actually. Uh, we want environment and we want Airbnb for our Babel. Let's try that again. The, the, uh, it's going to fail. The to fail we're looking for is telling us that we haven't actually properly set up our enzyme environment. Sorry, I know what the, it says it can't find this module or something. I know that's the issue. I was checking my package JSON. It's there now. Hmm. Let's try this test one more time. Okay. There, it's now actually failed, which is what we wanted. I, I know that's weird to say. Um, you can't find header. What we're going to do is next set up the actual um, setup file. So essentially with Enzyme you need to set it up properly um, in terms of you need a setup file. So 
I'm gonna create a folder called utils, um, just cause. Or I guess we have a folder called config that works too. So I'm just gonna move this. I'm gonna call this uh, uh, test setup. Js. Actually, I'm gonna rename that. Uh, setup test. It's more than one test, and it's just gonna be import uh, configure from enzyme. And so I'm actually getting a lot of this information from that example that I, I've included. Configure adapter. And what I mean by that is if you look at this example here, uh, Babel RC file, they have a React, ES, Lent, and ES uh, 2015. And then they have uh, this example here. This is their that's their component and then this is their test and uh, the last step is we have to actually set up a, um, a way to call uh, this script and so if you switch back to your package JSON go to the bottom put a comma in and type in just open anyway, setup test framework script File and you just call it from wherever it is. So mine's in config slash setup test.js. And let's try that uh, that test again. Uh, what is it? npm run start run test. Actually, I realized what I, what my issue is. I think I don't have everything properly installed. So what I'm going to do is just, I, I don't I don't remember doing an npm install here. So I think that's I'm about 95% sure that's my issue. So I'm just going to do uh, remove the node modules folder and then do an npm install. It will go through and install every single package in the package JSON, including the ones we just added. And then it should work because it, it it's him as uh, unable to find React. And I, I think it's just an installation issue. Okay, so our, our package here is now going to be uh, is nearly done installing. The one thing I got to note is uh, you have to still, like I've mentioned, this config.example, you have to change this to be just config.js um, if you actually plan to run run the, uh, the actual uh, React code and I guess the node code in, t in general, but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to try that npm run test. Based on the fact that I'm getting, um, it's taking a while, so it tells me that I've created a new snapshot. It shows the test that has been run, so it'll show all yours. The description here is so that you can you know which components being run. So you, this you know if you wrote another test for the footer, you it's a footer and then all the tests for the uh, the footer. Anyways, so with that, uh, it shows that we've written one t uh, test, and that can be found in snapshots right here. And this looks like a bunch of gibberish, but as you can see, the contents of the um, of the header, this is what it would look like. So, you know, hypothetically, if you could, um, if we change something here, so let's say put a two there, and then we ran npm run test again, this test will actually fail. And uh, that's what I'm trying to show that, you know, for all you know, there it failed. Because the snapshot did not match. You can just update the snapshot with the following. Uh, I just uh, the da bunch of dashes in there and the dash u that will update the snapshot. The only other thing I actually use is uh, if you look at the Jest website, Jest uh, CLI options here. Uh, what I want to do is get this one coverage. I, I find this is actually quite useful. So switch over to your Atom or your text editor. Keep saying Atom. Go to package.json, scroll up to the top, and after you call it just, you want to just do test, um, dash dash coverage. And just run that npm test again. I think I saved that there. And as you can tell, it, it actually shows you the code coverage on every single line. 
um, and it will show you the lines of code that aren't properly being tested. It's just one thing that you could add. Overall, your what I actually suggest in terms of my personal opinion. Let's say we're just we're focusing on the start dev command. This should be something look like this, and then I guess I throw the ESLint in there as well. But the idea is, if I do an npm run start dev, it calls the test, and then it calls the linter, and then it calls the and then it starts the server. That's just my own personal opinion. I uh, personally, I mean, at the same time, personally, I don't actually put the linter always in there. But this is how you do um, just testing. Uh, snapshot testing for react applications if you like this video please subscribe please also like the video and if you have any questions leave, leave them in the comments down below